Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you saw in the title, we're gonna talk about at home hair removal with an IPL device. In this case, I'm gonna be using you like. If you have been following me for a while, you guys know I hate hair in my body. I just hate it. And I have been using you like for quite a while. But in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the do's and don'ts about using IPL at home because I have certainly made some mistakes in the past and I don't want you to make the same mistakes as I do. And remember, if you want to shop you like IPL hair removal, the link is gonna be down in the description box along with a discount code because I am the discount queen and I love that. So check it out and use my code. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by explaining you what is IPL and how does it work to remove your hair in your body. IPL stands for Intense Pulse Light. So it's basically light that will heat in your skin and prevent hair from growing back. It targets and damages the hair follicles and that inhibit the future hair growth. This process, the IPL is usually done by a professional in a professional setting until now because now you can do it by yourself at home saving hundreds if not thousands of dollars by doing it in the comfort of your own home whenever you want without appointment without spending so much money for each session and waiting for you for them to take care of you yada 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 no and actually these can be used for several people within your household because it is a very long lasting product with you like sapphire air 3 you can visibly see hair growth reduction in less than three weeks it is an fda approved handheld ipl device with sapphire ice cooling technology for painless hair removal i hate pain so that's a big plus for me this has a four fold ice cooling system and can lower the temperature from 158 fahrenheit to 50 fahrenheit at the point of contact with your skin during the treatment providing you with a painless hair removal experience at the comfort of your home essential do's and don'ts the first do is read the instructions i know we're always desperate to try and use it right away so we can be hairless in our body but it's so important for you to read the instructions these manuals have absolutely everything you need to know and even a chart that according to the color of your skin and also the color of your hair it tells you whether or not this product is for you or not and the intensity so this manual is essential for you to read number two do a patch test test it in a small piece of skin in your body shave it because that's the very first step you need to do before using the product and test it in the lowest intensity this device has three levels of intensity so try it in the lowest and see how you feel how your skin reacts and then you can proceed with the whole leg or the armpit or any part of your body that you decide to use it on Number three, as I already said, you need to shave the area. Do not wax, do not pluck your hairs. It needs to be shaved, nothing else than that. Otherwise the product will not work and it's going to, you know, you're pretty much wasting your time. Number four, after shaving, the skin needs to be completely dry and free of any lotions or any oil or anything that's not just water and the skin completely dry. Number five, protect your eyesight. And that's what I also love about you like, because it already comes with the protective glasses, which by the way, you can fold for your convenience and safe space, but it is super important for you to wear it while you're using it. And also if there is anyone else in the room while you're doing it, also tell them to wear it or to leave the room to protect everybody. Number six, as I said, start with a low intensity. I know you wanna go for the highest and get it all out. Don't do that because it can create skin irritation. So the first time use it in the slowest and then you are going to be increasing as your sessions go. But don't go crazy, start little by little and then you're gonna hit your perfect level. Number seven, follow the recommended 
schedule. Consistency is key. With you like, it's recommended to use the device three times a week between week one to four, twice a week between week five to eight, and then we can get it into the maintenance mode using it for one to two times a month between weeks nine and 12. Number eight, protect your skin from sun exposure. And this is for before and after. Before because tan skin is more sensitive to light and after because you just treated your skin. So it's essential for you to wear sunscreen before and after. Number nine, consistency, consistency, consistency. You need to follow the schedule. You need to do, put in the time and do it step by step. Results won't happen overnight. Do not expect results the first one or two sessions, even though you may see some results. It happened to me, but it is not guaranteed. So you have to be consistent. And that goes with number 10, which is patience. You need to be consistent and patience. Be patient. Just wait for a few sessions to go through so you start seeing the results and the more you stick to the schedule the more results you're gonna be seeing i am right now at the point that i barely do it probably right now honestly i'm doing it like once every two months i'm not a really hairy person but it took a while for me to get to the point where i am right now now don't 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 number one do not do it if there is not enough hair and skin contrast and remember i show you on the manual there is a chart where they show you skin color versus hair co hair color whether or not the product the, this ipl device is going to work for you so make sure to check that chart and then if it, you fall within the category then go ahead and use it but you have to verify that first number two don't use it on tattooed areas or pigmented areas also if you're pregnant or nursing you are not supposed to use the device it can be harmful it can create skin irritation so please be aware three i already said it but i'm gonna say it again do not wax do not plug your hairs do not do anything else than shaving okay don't get creative just follow the routine and the manual and the instructions as it is do not wax number four don't use it on irritated skin or if you have a cut or if you have like some irritation already in a certain area of your skin do not use the device over there number five don't use it near your eyes do not it's always recommended to use it from your uh, bone right here your cheekbone below right here all the areas the cheekbone like right here below it's okay so you can do it on your upper lip and over here but above the cheekbone is not recommended and of course always wear your eye protection number six don't expect instant results i already said it on the do's but now i'm gonna say it on the don'ts keep your expectations realistic it takes time it's just like a flower like a plant you have to water it every week this is the same thing you have to use the device as the schedule says so you can start seeing the results slowly number seven don't overuse the device either right because you want to see results faster you may want to extra use it just to see results faster don't do that just keep it as it is number eight i said it i'm going to repeat it it's essential for you to protect your eyesight please 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 just put it on and you're gonna be safe you can see perfectly fine with this and you're gonna be doing your job protecting your eyesight and working on your hair removal process and there you have it, a list of do's and don'ts for IPL hair removal at home with you like. And I insist it, this is only with you like because this is the only pain-free device that I've tried that it worked and I've never felt the burn in my skin at all and it actually removes my hair. And don't forget to check on the description box the link for this device along with a coupon code. Use the coupon code because why not save money? I love to save money and also buy high quality products. The link is going to be down in the description box. 
put in the comments what are your thoughts about IPL have you tried you like have you tried all other brands what has been your experience let me know in the comments down below and I will see you on the next one